Joining us now from Strasbourg is Alexander Stubb, the former Finnish Prime Minister and the newly announced candidate for the European Commission presidency. So, Mr. Stubb, thank you, as always, for giving us a little bit of your time. First of all, how serious is the euro area dispute with Italy over the budget, the Italian budget? Well, it's always serious. I think we have the growth and stability pact, and I think it's very important that we stick to the rules, and especially when the weather is good, when we have tailwind in the economy. I think it's important that we do structural changes and don't overspend. So that's why I think all the finance ministers are right uh, to discuss the issue with the Italian government. But I feel like I ask you every time, but especially in your kind of you've just thrown your head in the hat to become, uh, you know, commission president. So I just want to try to understand how you would counter political forces, populist forces. If you would win, does the European Union need a better narrative? Do, do you need to explain the benefits of the EU to citizens and would they listen? Probably a combination of narrative and then results. I do think that we need to take the populists head on. And by that, I don't mean that there should be a frontal attack. But there should be a discussion on values. And I think, secondly, you need to understand the concerns of some of the people. Because some people are worried about migration. Some people are worried about technological development. Mm -hmm. And subsequently, uh, about uh, their possibility to have a job. And these are types of issues that we need to deal with. And my ar argument, of course, is that we actually need uh, European solutions to common problems. You have submitted yourself to a true trans-European uh, job, Alexander, and good morning from uh, New York. What form of allies do you need to be selected for this uh, position? Well, probably for the non-acquainted to the process, I mean, it's a long haul. Basically, first, it's like a primary, really. Uh, each EU party has its own primary, and then they put forward their commission president candidate. And then in May next year, you have uh, European Parliament elections, and then, all things considered, the largest party uh, and the lead candidate will go ahead and take over uh, and start forming the next European Commission. So, you know, we don't know. The next commission will start on the 1st of November 2019, so we're, we're in this for a long time. I look at it a bit like a triathlon. First you swim, then you bike, and then you run. So it's going to take a while. Okay, and I'm looking at your Twitter page, um, Alexander Stubb, and uh, you, you can see that you're starting a campaign. But what makes you think you're yeah. able, you're best able to run the European Commission? Well, probably experience. I mean, I've been in a fortunate position to have done all my academic and civil service work on the European Union. And then I became a member of the European Parliament for four years, and I was in the Finnish government for eight years. Prime Minister, Finance Minister, Foreign Minister, Europe Minister, and Trade Minister. And now I'm at the European Investment Bank, albeit on a leave of absence. So, you know, probably all the things that tick the boxes in the CV. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, I had to convince the hearts and the minds of our European People's Party delegates in Helsinki on the 7th and the 8th of November, and we'll see how it all ends up. Uh, how would you, as European Commission president, deal with the Trump administration and the challenge to this, uh, you know, multilateral trade order? Well, I think it's all about values, really, and they're being attacked from the outside, inside, and from in the party as well. So, I would probably, number one, try to fill the power vacuum that's been left by the United States and Donald Trump on values, because that's the basis: fundamental rights, human rights. Uh, individual freedoms, human dignity, liberal democracy, and, and the rule of law. Secondly, you know, I'd go hard on trade. You have to do trade type of deals. Uh, unfortunately, we don't live in a multilateral trade world anymore. We do bilateral trade agreements. So the next thing we should have is an EU, uh, US free, free and fair uh, trade agreement. Uh, on multilateralism, I mean, you know, being against multilateralism, it's a little bit like being against the internet. You can always do it, but probably best to, uh, I think, try to influence the content. So I'd be quite tough on that. I think my values are quite different from those of the president of the United States. That's clear. Mr. Stubb, if we look at your public service to Finland, if we look at a Europe moving beyond the ghosts of World War II, what is your vision for Europe? Uh, my vision for Europe uh, is actually pro-European. By that, I mean that we need to tackle at least three big things. One is the technological and digital revolution, because I think that artificial intelligence and robotization will change. It'll change the economy and labor. It'll change politics and media. And actually, it will change science and the future of mankind. So we need to grapple with that. So big data type of issues. 
Uh, number two, we need to deal with security. That's absolutely clear, whether it's internal uh, or external. And then number three, we need to deal with uh, climate change. So technology, security, and climate change are probably the right. three big issues. And my vision is of more Europe, not less Europe. From Strasbourg, France, Alexander Stubb. Thank you so much uh, this morning.